Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video review on the Tech Cooch. And this is a review specific to those of you out there that are lucky enough to actually have an iPad Pro. Whether it's the 12 inch or the 9.7 inch, it doesn't matter because it works on either of them. And I'm sure it's going to work on a lot of the future products that Apple's going to be releasing as, as well. Uh, but this is the Apple Pencil. Uh, or I should say, this is the Apple Pencil. I have never been a huge stylus fan, um, mainly because my first products that had styluses were the old Windows phones, or what were they, the Windows mobile phones, um, back when you basically had to have a plastic capacitive stylus um, in order to use the actual display, or not capacitive, uh, but to use the phone. You had to use it, really, because the start menu was so small and it could, you, your fingerprint was so all over the place. Um, Essentially, ever since then, I've despised styluses. Even with my older iPads, uh, I've had some of the best styluses out there. And while they're great, I never did any of the Bluetooth ones, to be honest. I did most of the capacitive ones for my older iPads. And while they worked, and some of them were fine, uh, they never had the accuracy that most people would want out of a stylus. Upcoming, up, out comes the Apple Pencil, and this thing will change almost everybody's mind of what an actual stylus should be. Uh, if you read the reviews, this is probably the top stylus on the market for any device. Uh, of course, you'll have people that'll disagree with that. That's fine. It's all opinion-based, but of course, I have an iPad, so this is 100% the best stylus you can get for your iPad. No doubt. Uh, it's awesome. It feels awesome. It feels like a writing utensil, like it's supposed to be. Uh, simple to charge. It's a lightning connector. I can plug it directly into my iPad itself and charge it back up. So if the battery dies while I'm using it, plug it in. I literally can plug it in for one or two minutes and I'll have enough charge to go for quite a while. So pretty awesome in how fast it charges. Even to go from zero to a hundred, you're not talking hours. Literally, uh, half an hour probably. I, I honestly don't know the exact time, but when I plug it in, it's amazing how fast it charges up. If you actually watch the battery meter, and there's a battery meter built into your iPad itself to see this thing, uh, you can watch it charge. Um, in the box as well though, if you want to charge it faster or want to charge it without degrading your iPad or without it sticking out of your iPad, because it literally sticks out of your iPad, uh, it does come with a little adapter. This little adapter allows you to plug the iPad into one side and a standard lightning cable into the other side. So if you want to charge even off like a battery, an, uh, a battery backup, you can do that. And so you can charge off the battery backup while using it even. Um, I've never actually tried that. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. But that's a possibility, I guess. Uh, it does come with a second tip, so if you, you know, if you need a different tip, it does come with that. And you can get extra tips. Uh, and as well as you can actually replace that guy as well. They even have little guys that will actually grab onto this this cap um, and hold them onto the onto the pencil for you. I haven't really had a problem with it. I actually keep it on this case. This case has just a little elastic guy. And I haven't actually had uh, the opportunity for losing that. My kids popped it off once in the backseat of the car and they found it. Uh, but other than that, I've never actually had a pop off. And I took it through the airport. So um, all the way back there and all the way back. So I haven't had a problem with that. But the extent for how well the Apple Pencil works is awesome. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you what the actual thing looks like. So if I'm in my iPad here and I have my Apple Pencil, and I know it's connected to the iPad already, I can pull down, uh, pull over here and see the battery. So my iPad's at 94%, my Apple Pencil's at 85%. So that's telling me, obviously, off the Bluetooth connection to the iPad, what it is. Now, of course, I mean, I can control my iPad just like any stylus. I can do everything with the Apple Pencil. Um, I mean, I can, you know, have ultimate control of it, which is what the nice thing about this is. Uh, the same thing goes if you, so if you went into here, even though you have it and you know you've connected to your iPad before and it's not showing up in here, that's just because maybe the battery died and when you charge it back up, you just didn't charge it with your iPad and it didn't resync. To resync it to the iPad, all you do is plug it into the lightning cord on the bottom of the iPad and boom. Uh, same thing goes if I plug it in here right now, which should show that it's charging. So it's 77% with the little charge symbol to the right side of it. So that's telling me, hey, it's actually charging off of my iPad. Which is funny, my iPad all of a sudden went to 100%. That's weird. I guess I charged my iPad with my Apple Pencil. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, but if you, so if you were down lower, you know, obviously whenever you're charging a device, it's harder to go from 
80 to 100, right, than it is to, to go from 0 to 20. So it, it takes a little longer to get that higher, but there it, it's actually already at 80%. I mean, that ju jumped 3% really fast. So you can, you can see that when you're actually charging the Apple Pencil to use it again real quick, ah, oh, crap, I just need a little more juice. Plug it in the, the iPad for a minute or two, plug it back out, and, and go ahead and go with it. So that's how you charge, you, you, how you can charge it. It's actually the only time place I've actually charged it. I've never actually used the adapter, which I'm probably going to eventually just set up on my nightstand so I can keep the Apple Pencil charged up. Um, but I did want to actually show you how well it actually does work. Let me get a uh, drawing thing out here. So I'm going to use uh, which it, uh, paper, which is a, a program out there. Um, so I can actually show you how well it actually writes. Uh, let's see, hit the plus button. So I have a blank sheet, and we'll go to the pencil. So this is how accurate it actually is. So if I actually just write tech gooch, right? You know, I can do things with the eraser. I can control, and I guess maybe... Uh, maybe I should have done this with, with you watching. It's harder for me to do this over the shoulder. I can erase things. I can bring it back up and I can write. Um, or here, how about this? YouTube. Uh, boy, I'm terrible at writing upside down, aren't I? But you can see how accurate it is. No matter which one I go with. And depending on how I push. So the push on the pencil, it'll... So if I go lightly, right? If I push hard on the screen, it'll be a much harder. Uh, it's a, it's an awesome utility, it, 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 utensil. And I'm not an artist. My wife is an artist, and it's amazing. I handed this to her, and she was just like, that was the first style she actually was like, she kept it in her hand. She actually kept using it. So for artists, it's amazing. This is the thing to actually have. Um, for people like me that aren't, I just like doodling and doing things, but it's it's fun. I can actually make things with this I could never do with my old stylus so um, there are other cases that work better as well so like the one thing that I will say about this uh, Urban Armor Gear case is that plugging this in for charging it pushes on the bottom of the case so it doesn't really give you full access to it the way you way that I actually have been doing it when I'm on trips and stuff and I need to charge it up is I literally pop the bottom of the, of the iPad out and then plug it in. That was the best connection I've been able to get. Um, when I'm using my keyboard, um, which I have a, a bridge keyboard, which I did a different review for that I'm posting very similar to this one, uh, it, I don't have a problem because it doesn't actually cover up that side of the, of the iPad. So if you do have an iPad case, that's probably something the one to keep in mind if you're gonna actually use the iPad to charge it is you may have to pop the iPad out to charge this properly. But other than that, if you're looking for a stylus for your iPad Pro, uh, do not go any other way. This thing's amazing. And uh, it's a fantastic little stylus. It really is. So, uh, 99 bucks. You can get it at uh, Best Buy, Amazon, Apple Store, all over the web. So, post the link directly below. So, check that out. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments on the Apple Pencil or anything for me, please post those below. Subscribe to the channel above. Uh, they do make a lot of actually nice little cases for this. So if you didn't want, if you don't have a case, uh, a case that actually grabs onto this, there are other cases that actually have storage for the Apple Pencil built right into the case itself, which are pretty cool, especially if you're going to use it a lot. Um, but yeah, definitely check them out. And there's a lot of accessories for it as well. So uh, and eventually I'll probably get into some of those. But for now, Apple Pencil. Pretty awesome. Wish it worked on my 7 Plus. <laughs> so, so sub subscribe above, post below, and make sure you let us know over on the techgooch.com if you have any other feedback for me directly. Otherwise, we'll see you on Facebook. We'll see you in the next video. And uh, take it easy until then. See you soon.